Hi you guys! Welcome back to Video Talk. I'm Willy and this is another box set pickup. It's a box set madness. I got this from eBay because this box set that I have here is a long gone out of print and yeah, when it was new I fucked up, I didn't get it but now I had to get it for a big price from eBay. So in this episode I will reveal you what is in the box and what is the box set and also go through the other versions that I have, the films that are included in this box. But first let me give you an update on my box set madness, the current box sets that I'm working on, yeah baby. This is something that I'm not anymore working on. This is a, the incredible strange films of Ray Dennis Deckler. Yeah, I watched every movie in this box set and it's got 20 films and 30 hours of special features and if you don't know who is Ray Dennis Deckler, don't worry, you haven't been uh, raised in a barrel. It's, it's a guy who made uh, like this very very low budget films in Los Angeles and in uh, Las Vegas as well and maybe he's for most famous film is The Incredible Strange Creatures Who Stopped Living and Became Mixed Up Zombies. <laughs> How about that name? But yeah, in my opinion, it was not the best movie in this box. It was the, maybe, maybe my favorite in this box set was the, uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> None of these films were <laughs> that great, but maybe Red Finger Boo Boo was my favorite. And this, <laughs> it's, it is really a crazy superhero movie. Made like a, as a Batman spoof, as Batman wouldn't be silly enough. I mean, the 60s TV series Batman. But this box, yeah, contains 20 movies and it's a huge box. It includes even this booklet and I read the booklet and <laughs> yeah watched all these films and it's a Severin film box, quite nice box, usual Severin style, you know, uh, kind of this book book style of uh, casing. So I, it's, I think it's great box, great box and they are, while the films may not be the best films ever, but quite interesting, if, especially if you are a fan of uh, 1960s and 70s grindhouse cinema. Okay, then another box set that I went through <laughs> painfully, mind, mind I add. The Micro Budget Cinema of Michael J. Murphy from 1967 to 2015. So Michael J. Murphy was a kind of like a colleague to Ray Dennis Tegler. It was a He was a British film director who made kind of this uh, like films that he paid from his own pocket and kind of this thriller and fantasy pictures guy who clearly had the taste for making movies but clearly he didn't have that that much that much talent to make the films yeah okay if i had to pick my favorite from this box it's gotta be either death run which was a kind of kind of like a running man style post apocalypse action picture <laughs> or maybe the bloodstream which had seen this kind of movie director who who makes video nasties and gets crazy but I gotta tell you that most of the films in this box set were kind of kind of lazy and poor, very poorly made. But the box set is great. This is from Powerhouse and uh, includes great booklet. Which I did I read this? Um, maybe <laughs> I think I read this. I think I read. It. Yes, I did. Yeah, it was an easy read because the most of the uh, booklet is is like the filmography and the credits of the film. So I read it, and the films do not come in a booklet, but they come are in their own casing and, and what how many discs was there was there like 10 discs so i think the ray dennis tegler box was way easier to watch than this this was this was pretty pretty challenging to say the least but challenging but rewarding yeah let's call it that Okay, then another box that I have completed <laughs> from Hollywood to Heaven, the lost and saved films of the Ormond family. The Ormond family was kind of this American movie maker family that made grindhouse pictures back in the 70s and 60s. But uh, in the 70s, they got in cahoots with church and they were making these kind of religious propaganda films. And yeah, this was very 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 interesting box and uh the, if you can manage through these like uh, exploitation pictures which are pretty tame by today's standards when you get to these uh religious films grim reaper and the second coming and uh, my favorite the if the if the footmen tire you 
what will the horses do? Like this kind of kind of cautionary films about when you're not religious, the communists will take over America and they will cut the heads of little children. This film includes a scene where communists, evil laughing communists, uh, chopping people's heads off, uh, including children and shooting them with machine guns. It was really, really crazy stuff, these which were where the you know the highlights in this box. I highly recommend this box. Uh, this is also from Indicator and Powerhouse, and I think this is very stylish box. I really do like these. What do you even call these covers? Like this kind of like a dicky books, um, small dicky books. Yeah, very impressive. Highly recommended if you can find this. I I I suggest you check out this. <laughs> Religious propaganda films because they are pretty pretty unique. Okay, and currently I am working on Emmanuel Black Emmanuel. <laughs> this is a very heavy box, also from Severin, and this includes 24 movies. And I think I got like five movies left, so I have been very busy. I have my you know my strategy for watching Emmanuel is watching one movie per week and Tuesday is my Emmanuel day. It has taken me from January all the way here to get to the like to the final five so it's very heavy but I gotta tell you there have been very good surprises in this box. Okay it's, it's an interesting box. Some of these films are very boring but some of these films are like way out there. Highly recommend it. And, also includes a very thick booklet and uh, uh, compilation. Okay, I haven't even started this show, show scope uh, box no, volume one. This includes 10 discs and 12 movies. So <laughs> I haven't even started on this volume one, but yeah, man, I have started this volume two because this film includes includes the film called Boxer's Omen and I had to get this because this is a very 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 crazy like this oriental horror film with magic and all kind of gross stuff. It was <laughs> that was amazing picture. I highly re recommend Boxer's Omen film and this is the only film that I have watched from this box. So yeah it includes also 12 box and there's a Show Brothers volume 3 coming so I guess I have to get that but before that I need to get on, on this case of show scope because I want to get it done before the third one arrives. Yeah. And of course, since this is a box at madness, I will not waste an opportunity to do to display this awesome Arrow video box, Gamera the Complete Collection. This box is freaking huge. I have watched this like five years ago or something. I, I don't know, I don't remember when this came out, but I have watched all of these great camera pictures. And also from Arrow Video, another Mega Satan box. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Blood Feast, the films of Herschel Gordon Lewis. All pictures from that guy. And yeah, these couple of boxes, these are freaking huge. I wonder why Arrow won't use this box format anymore, because maybe they have not put out a box set that has this many movies. I mean, these have, both of these have like 20 movies, but these are great format. I really do like this, but it's kind of difficult to keep because, yeah, you can see it, it, this has a dent because it was top of my shelf way over there and I freaking dropped it. And I think I also dropped this as well. So <laughs> I will not, you know, keep them anymore in the top of shell. I will keep them in the bookshelf now from now on. So I will not damage these any further. But now let's unbox. So, like I said, this came from eBay, and I don't usually shop from eBay, but this was something that I have been watched out for for a long time, and the prices for this box are very high, but yeah, I managed to get it, in my, in my opinion, in a reasonable price. I will reveal the price in the end, but now let's check out what I got. So, there's only, this is an empty box to, you know, like, Make it not swing around when they shipped it, but yeah! From Severin Pictures, Al Adamson, the Masterpiece Collection. If I remember correctly, this 
was released in 2019 or 2021 or it's gonna be like four years at least four years ago at least and at the time when it was new I didn't get it because I was thinking that yeah I have some of these films and I haven't even watched these DVDs that I got so I kind of wanted to save money and not get Al Adamson box but ever since that when it got out of print went out of print, I have thinking to myself, god damn, this is a, I missed out on this because it's a great box set and now let's check out what is this masterpiece collection made of. Right, okay, the artwork is very stunning. Here's the director himself. He's also has starred in some of, of his movies. So, the box set includes 32 full-length feature films on 14 discs, so it is a huge freaking box set for sure. Here we have the names of all the great titles in this film. Black Samurai, Carnival Magic, Nurse Sherry, Mean Mother, Death Dimension, Dracula vs. Frankenstein, holy shit. And you might be wondering who the hell is Al Adamson. So he was the guy who made in this kind of like these grindhouse pictures in the 70s, in the 60s. And yeah, the weird thing was that this guy was murdered and he was buried inside his jacuzzi. <laughs> He's, you know, like a renovator guy killed him. And for some reason, he buried him inside his he, he inside his jacuzzi pool and it was very weird and also the thing I learned from this documentary because the first disc includes the documentary blood and flesh commissioned by Severin films and I watched the documentary and that I didn't know that this guy was really uh, in the last years of his life he was really into UFOs so <laughs> he actually believed that there was this being from another planet who was telling him some things about the world and mind you he was a skeptic so I don't know what happened to his life but yeah that was a new thing for me. So first this includes blood and flesh and also the female bunch kind of like a rape and revenge western picture and I have never watched it even though I have here oh shit I have here <laughs> I have here Finnish VHS and I have to cover this Ass, basically you can see the asshole of this girl in this cover. Now this is actually a fantastic cover. It says here, naiset kuin raakalaiset, female like savages. <laughs> okay, this is a Video Express Scandinavia film and this was released in year 1984. And yeah, I think this is cut like two minutes or something crazy like that. So. Uh, I haven't watched this. <laughs> I haven't watched this tape, but I will certainly watch it on this Blu-ray and, you know, finally see this film because I have watching this great ass. I had, she's got a great ass and I have my head all the way up in it. The next disc includes three pictures, Psycho A Go Go, Blood of Ghastly Horror and The Fiend with the Electric Brain. These I have watched it from this Blu-ray and <laughs> Basically, this is the same picture. So Al Adamson used to recycle his films. He first made this Psycho A Go Go, kind of like a, a thriller, kidnap thriller about these diamond heisters who extort this guy to get, you know, the stolen diamonds from him because they accidentally threw the diamond back to his car. Kind of very basic grindhouse picture from that era. But then they made Blood of Ghastly Horror. They inserted John Carradine in this film to be a, like a scientist who has actually inserted this mechanical brain to this one of these diamond heisters <laughs> to make him a zombie uh, who is like a crazy killer. So basically <laughs> they put like a science fiction spin on that on this film and with uh, some horror elements. And and then the feed with electric brain, they kept this scientist, scientist material from this blood and ghastly horror, like kind of like a shortened this psycho go go segments out and included some sort of voodoo priest in this film and added some zombie action in it. So basically this is like very cut and paste mess, but yeah, <laughs> if you appreciate all Adamson pictures, you will appreciate this too. And then Halfway to Hell, somewhere, some kind of western from 1960s, I believe Al Adamson is starring in it. And it was Al Adamson's first picture. I haven't never seen it. And also this goes for Five Bloody Graves as well. Haven't seen this. 
And then Blood of Dracula's Castle. Actually, I have watched this twice at least from this great looking Finnish VHS tape from Video Draws. And this, like, uh, uh, female bunch, this is also very rare tape and beautiful artwork, mind I add. And then Horror of the Blood Monsters. I actually have the uh, blue uh, bl DVD, but I honestly don't remember if I have watched this. I don't know which cover do you like the best. Maybe I like this DVD cover more. Horror of the Blood Monsters. Yeah, the name itself speaks to <laughs> speaks to my imagination for sure. And then smashing il racket del crimine. I have absolutely no idea. The fakers. <clears throat> okay, I think this, this was featured in this documentary that I watched. Uh, like a like a uh, like a Euro spy style James Bond spoof or something like that. And then Hell's Bloody Devils, they made these motorcycle films as well. <laughs> and then Dracula vs. Frankenstein. Now I have watched this. I think I have watched this even twice. Now I have a great looking video from UK, preserved UK. Um, very old tape and I really do love the artwork and I think I have the DVD there as well. Yeah, Dracula vs. the Frankenstein, yeah. This was never released in Finland back in the day and yeah. I'm looking forward to watching this anew from <laughs> Blu-ray. And then Brain of Blood, another science fiction film. I have never seen it. And then uh, Satan Say This, a motorcycle gang film. I have actually watched this. I think I have DVD somewhere. Uh, a Finnish DVD was released in 2005. Uh, I have very, very few recollections of that picture, but it was a mo motorcycle film with lots of violence. And then Agents White Wild women, uh, maybe not have seen it. And then Naughty Stewardesses and Blazing Stewardesses, kind of softcore, softcore films, have not watched it. And then, yeah, Nurses for Sale, Girls for Rent, and Jessie's Girls. Jessie's Girls on Finnish VHS called Hurja Tytöt, Furious Girls. It has also been released from Oxford Video. There you have it, too. I have not seen any of these. And then the Murder Gang and Dynamite Brothers. This kind of like a action kung fu feature. And then Mean Mother Black Exploitation picture and Uncle Tom's Gapping. I have not seen any of these. And then a couple of Jim Kelly films, Black Samurai and Death Dimension. Okay, yeah. I have watched Death Dimension because here I have Freeze Bomb, Finnish VHS from Death Dimension. Uh, yeah. And then I also have Kuoleman Asiamies, Death Dimension, same picture but different cover. So kind of like a Finnish distributors were also in the game with Al Adamson to distribute these films with different name and different covers. I think I like Freeze Bomb cover more. But yeah, you can see that this includes the same same cover artwork than the VHS. Um, it has been like a million years since I have seen Dead Dimension, so cannot really comment on it. But it's got Jim Kelly and Kung Fu. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be great, right? And then schools out. I have here Finnish tape. Yuta Jengi. It means like a, if you translate, it, it's like a groove gang. So original artwork in this VHS. Um, I have watched it. <laughs> it was a teenage comedy and not very good, as far as I remember. And Cinderella 2000, some sort of like a softcore musical. <laughs> yeah, he made musicals or also. And then Nurse Sherry. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome has released this Nurse Sherry, but I don't think I have that Vinegar Syndrome, and I have not never seen. Nurse Sherry either. And then Al Adamson also made <laughs> kids film, Carnival Magic. I'm really looking forward to seeing Al Adamson kids movie. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, what is this Lost? Uh, okay, Lost. I have never even heard about that. But uh, Happy Hobo rushes to promo unproduced Adams Adamson kids film. Okay, so another kids film and <laughs> some unproduced kids film. And then finally we have this um, like an advertisement from the film. Okay, looking real nice and looking forward watching these pictures and yeah, 
Blood and Flesh Files. So this is a booklet about the life of and films of Al Adamson. And I highly recommend that you read before you watch so, so you can, you know, understand the version differences, if any. At least it describes very in much detail, like Psycho A Go Go and Fiend with Electric Brain differences here. So uh, recommended reading here. And we have also VHS covers here in this booklet and old movie advertisements and whatnot. Great stuff. Great stuff. I have not read this yet, but I will. Okay, so how much did I pay for this bad boy? Yeah. From eBay, it was 433 euros, including shipping and taxes. So it was a very, very expensive box. I think this may be the most expensive single box that I have ever purchased. But yeah, the prices have been like from 700 to 800 bucks or something crazy like that. So when I saw this like under 400, I was like uh, now it's time now it's freaking time to get the al adamson box uh, and when you include the shipping and the taxes then you get over 400 but yeah it was expensive but now i got this and now i don't think i have any box sets or any other films that are out of print that i need to have except for the few vinegar syndrome releases but i wish i would have got this when this was new i don't remember what was the price maybe it was like 200 bucks or something like that directly from severing after all this thing has 32 movies so it's a big huge box set so it had a very hefty price tag when it was first released but yeah when you fuck up like this when you're missing out then <laughs> your wallet will take a hit hey Tell me in the comments, was this worth it? And tell me in the comments also, if you have some boxes or other out of print titles that you would like to find for a cheap price or expensive price. I'm interested in hearing your opinions. And thank you for watching and watch this next and see you in the next video talk. Yeah, bye bye. Ooh la la, ooh la la. Al Adamson. Al freaking Adamson. Right on.